What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. Today we're on Madden 22 and I got the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals were one of the absolute surprise teams of last season. They absolutely blew out expectations, did so much better than everyone expected and that was a big part due to the offense breaking out. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Joe Mixon, all those guys playing so, so well. Uh, and they needed help. They couldn't get it done in the Super Bowl because they needed help. So Cincinnati went out and they added some big time playmakers, especially on defense. I love the additions to the secondary in the draft. Dax Hill, great, explosive, hard hitter, good coverage man. He's going to be an impact playmaker. Honestly, I expect him to play a ton of snaps and there's a very good chance I think he starts um, for this team. They're really, really good. Big time pickup. I love it. Cam Taylor Britt, another splash pickup in the secondary. Super fast, athletic corner. Gonna try to compete for that outside starting job. Honestly, I would not be surprised if he wins it outright from Eli Apple. Um, I just really like this team. There's so much talent. The defense is much, much improved. Defensive line is great. Secondary is great. It's awesome. Offensively, though, that's where the even bigger improvement came. This offensive line was horrible last season. It was horrible. One of the worst in the league. They went out. They added three new starters in Ted Karras, Alex Kappa, and Leo Collins. Big time pickups, especially Collins. I love those moves. It's going to give Joe Burrow extra time. And I think by now we've all seen what would have happened if Burrow had a little bit of extra time at the end of that game. Uh, this quarterback... He's got it all. These receivers, I think they're the best in the league. Joe Mixon, a stud. I love this team. I think they're going to be great. We're going to hop in. We are going to see how this first season goes. If we make the playoffs, we will try to run it back or try to run it back. We'll try to make it to the Super Bowl and get it done there. If we don't, we'll try to hop into the offseason, fix the team up and run it back in year two. Try to get it done there. If you guys enjoy content like this, please drop a like and drop a sub. It helps me out a ton and it does make these videos so much more fun for me to do. Uh, we're going to try to make some trades here. Honestly, we do have this whole left guard. Jackson Carmen. he may develop into something decent, but it's probably not going to get it done in Madden. So I think we're going to try to make some moves here. Probably move Vaughn Bell and maybe Trey Flowers and Eli Apple to see if we can get some linebacker help and an offensive lineman. Let's see what we can do. All right, first move straight up. Eli Apple for Kenneth Murray Jr., young, fast linebacker. We're going to put him in the middle with... Uh, with Logan Wilson and probably Jermaine Pratt. They'll probably be our starting linebackers. I really like that core now. Murray needs to, to develop a little bit more, but I think the potential that offers is sky high. Uh, we're going to try to get another offensive lineman now, and we'll see how it goes. All right, Von Bell and Trey Flowers is going to get us Chris Lindstrom. Good time, good pickup, big time. I love it. That offensive line is great now. Solid starters across the board. Joe Burrow should have an easy time making it back to the Super Bowl. Uh, we're going to simulate the uh, the regular season here, and I will see you guys at the playoffs. Hopefully, we've made them. All right, first season is done. 12-5, and five, solid, solid record. I think pretty reasonable for the Bengals. I think they're probably going to lose a game or two. Their division is very tough, uh, but I think they're going to be good. Joe Burrow, phenomenal. 42-10, 4,200 yards. Incredible. 16 touchdowns for Mixon with 1,700 yards and another 9 for P. Ryan off the bench. Uh, T. Higgins, great year, 16 and 12. Not much for Jamar Chase, a little bit of a surprise there, but Madden does what it wants. We all know Chase is going to be better than that. Uh, let's look at this. Sacks, 14 for Hendrickson, great year. Interceptions, four for Logan Wilson, three for Cam Taylor. Britt, uh, three for Tyson Anderson? I don't even know who that is. Um, did I forget to turn injuries off? That might explain some of this. I don't know. I might have forgotten to turn injuries off, so maybe some guys got hurt. Those are some weird stats, but uh, team did really, really well. We're going to upgrade players, and we're going to simulate this first playoff game and see if we can get the win. All right, we got the Browns in week one. The Browns are a really good team, especially with Watson now, and obviously he's playing in Madden, um, but it's not going to matter. We get the win. We get it done. We're going to upgrade players. We're going to hop into the next. All right, we got the Broncos now. Definitely a better overall roster in Cincinnati. That being said, Russell Wilson is a great quarterback. And it's a big-time high-scoring game, but we get it done. On to the conference championship. I'm upgrading, and we'll get into it. All right. Indianapolis, good team, can run the football really, really well. But an old Matt Ryan versus a young Joe Burrow, I know who I want. And we get it done, 28-21. Back to the Super Bowl for Cincinnati, back-to-back -back years. I thought it might take us a year just to let the team develop 
and uh, get a little better, but it does not. And we're playing Carolina. Interesting, interesting matchup. Um, didn't expect to see Carolina here, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna upgrade players as I just did without even thinking about it. We're gonna hop in. We are actually gonna play this one, so I will see you guys in there. Let's get it. All right, Joe Burrow and the Bengals running out. Let's see what we can do. Man, I love Joe Burrow. I love Jamar Chase. I think this team is gonna be good, and I think we're gonna have a chance to dominate here. We are actually gonna play both sides of the ball just because I feel like I wanna highlight Dax Hill. I wanna highlight uh, Cam Taylor Britt. I feel like there's too many guys, you know, I gotta give them all a little bit of shine. Dax Hill completely whiffs on the tackle on the very first play. Christian McCaffrey kinda running, uh, kinda running hard there, getting a nice pickup. Getting it taken back because of a hold though, we'll take it. I don't mind any sort of help I can get is fine by me. Second, or first and 18, I guess, not even first and uh, 20, but hey, let's go, let's get it. They're going to throw it out. DJ Moore, great young wide receiver. He gets his first catch of the day. Eight yards, nine yards, actually. Uh, good play, good play. But that just puts him at second and ten, so I'm not mad. Let's see what we can do here. we got to get some stops. Who is that, number 13? Is that Terrace Marshall? Probably is. Um, yeah, let's see. I guess I don't get to see. Julio Jones. They picked up Julio? Interesting. Uh, Julio's still rated very highly in Madden, even though he's had a slower year or two here. So he might actually be a pretty tough matchup for us, if we're being honest. And uh, he's going to get another grab there. Dax Hill forces him out of bounds, but not before a big pickup. Um, interesting. A little bit scary. A little bit scary. But uh, 29 yards for Julio. First couple catches. Sam Darnold right now is dotting us up. Maybe Sam Darnold is going to emerge. Should be Baker Mayfield back there. I'm not sure why it's Darnold, but... Uh, right there, that's probably my zone. I think I whiffed on that one. Should have been there. Should have stopped it, but DJ Moore is going to get another grab. They are doing anything they want right now, and I am not liking it. <laughs> got to figure out how to slow him down here. Christian McCaffrey is a beast. We got to, got to, got to slow him down. Um, they're going to they're gonna pinch everyone in. I don't like this. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Yeah, get out there. Oh, he forces them inside. I saw Logan Wilson getting outside, force him back up inside, and we get the tackle. Only two yards there. So, Cincinnati fans, how are y'all feeling about your team and your offseason? Uh, do you guys like the draft you had? Do you guys like the players you picked up? Right there, we are stuffing Christian McCaffrey. Great play by Kenneth Murray and Jesse Bates. Uh, franchise tagging Jesse Bates. Right there, we can start there. Big time move. Big time uh is something they really needed to get done, and I think it's a very, very smart move for the team. Jesse Bates is a phenomenal safety, one of the better ones in football, uh, and retaining him is going to be huge. They do need to get a long-term contract done, though. That has to get done. Uh, you want to keep a guy like that around for sure. Um, they also went out. They completely overhauled the rest of the secondary. Dax Hill is huge. I like Von Bell. I think he's a talented safety, but Dax Hill has the potential to be much, much better. Um, and that's saying something. Because like I said, uh, Von Bell's good. Uh, Dax, Dax Hill is just, I think he's just got the chance to be better. And uh, I like the move. I think a lot of people expected them to go offensive line in that uh, in that first round, even though they made a lot of moves. Um, I just don't think it was as big of a need after the free agency they had, though. So I like what they did getting Dax Hill. Coming back, getting Cam Taylor Britt in the second round. It's got to feel good after that rough, uh, rough Super Bowl trying to go up against Cup and Odell. you got to get a secondary that can stand up against a bunch of talented receivers. Um, and the, quite frankly, the Bengals secondary couldn't do that. Eli Apple and Trey Flowers were outmatched um, by those receivers. So getting those guys in there to help, that's huge in my opinion. I think that could absolutely be one of the reasons they are in the playoffs or in the Super Bowl. Uh, again, you know, it's just, it's, it's big. I love it personally. But yeah, uh, Cincinnati fans, drop a comment. Let me know how y'all are feeling. Uh, did you like the move to trade away some of those guys? Wow, that's not what I was expecting there. I totally bit on the run. Um, but yeah, did you guys uh, did you guys like the move I made to get Kenneth Murray Jr. for uh, just Eli Apple, right? I think that was the trade we made, which just seems so, so cheap, honestly. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of that. You guys like seeing that? Uh, right there, BJ Hill. Phenomenal pickup last offseason. BJ Hill played great for Cincinnati. Uh, I w I'm a Giants fan. I loved B.J. Hill. It's a little sad to see him go, but it's nice to see him ball out. He was a big, big-time playmaker for uh, for Cincinnati. Christian McCaffrey falls in? I thought we had Christian McCaffrey down short. Looks like he's going to fall in. That's fine. We got time to go down and score, especially with this big play offense. We do need Joe Burrow to do his thing here, though. 
Let's see what we can do. Let's get it done. First play, gonna try to hit Jamar Chase here, and he's got him burned. I don't even, I just, these receivers are just too good. There's just too many weapons on the field at one time. I don't know how you slow it down. I mean, Tyler Boyd is their number three guy. Tyler Boyd is a great receiver. He gets wide open here. Gets the little toe tap, toe drag, and we are going to be down to the 22 yard line. Let's get this in the end zone. I do need to score a touchdown here because I, I, I want to be able to win straight up. Uh, we're, oh, no, not good. Not good at all. Terrible throw from Joe Burrow. And that is a quick, quick way to, uh, t well, to not turn it around. So I was. We come back, we get an interception? <laughs> a woozy A, he comes up big. I'm just. I'm all over the place right now. Let's chill out a little bit. Let's get this done. Uh, Got to go quick here. We do have 16 seconds. Used up one play. That's going to be a hold, so we're just going to throw the ball away as soon as possible. Try to save up that clock. Don't want to take too much time off. It's going to be second and 20 from the 30-yard line. It's not what we want, but uh, there is enough time to do something here. We can at least get it close so Evan McPherson has an easy field goal. Who knows, maybe Jamar Chase breaks open, maybe Higgins on that inside post. I uh, don't no, throw it away, throw it away. He, I don't know what that penalty is, not gonna lie. They called intentional grounding. So that's not intentional grounding, because um, he got hit as he threw, that affects the pass. Usually that means it's not intentional grounding. That being said, we're just gonna let it do its thing. We missed the field goal. That was a mess at the end of that drive. It's all right. We're going to get the ball back to start the second half. Time to talk about the offense. Cincinnati fans, how are y'all feeling about the offense? Uh, that revamped offensive line looks like it's going to be sick next year. Uh, Jackson Carmen is a question mark. He's pretty much the only question mark. You know what you're getting from the other guys. Uh, Alex Kappa and Ted Karras up the middle, you know they're not incredible. You know they're not going to be studs like Quinton Nelson or someone you know they're not going to be those crazy crazy players but that being said they're going to hold their own and they're going to do a much better job than the guys did last year um, and you got to feel confident about that those are big time upgrades Lyle Collins that's a huge upgrade people should be thrilled about that they had what a Carmen Isaiah Prince guys like that trying to play that right tackle spot for Joe Burrow and that is just not good enough it's just not they got exposed in the playoffs too Joe Burrow would manage to work around it for most of the most of the playoffs, but eventually it's just going to stop working, and that happened against the Rams. We do have to give them credit. The Rams' defense is phenomenal. It is. I mean, you can't deny that. There's so much talent on it, but that's what teams are going to be like when you make the playoffs. you got to be able to compete with those teams. Now their offensive line can compete with those teams, and I think that's a big reason uh, to be excited about this team. Let me know how y'all are feeling. Uh, obviously, I it's it's scary. It's got to be scary having a franchise quarterback like that with a bunch of new guys up there blocking for him. But these new guys aren't rookies. They're talented, proven players. You should feel confident. We're moving the ball here pretty well, but i got to figure out how to get in the end zone with time to come back and score once again. Uh, I need something here, and we're going to take a sack. Ugh. Offensive line still is really not holding up that well, which is not good. This offensive line should be much better, especially with Chris Lindstrom in there. Uh, I think we should be doing a lot better than we are. It's a little discouraging, a little bit scary seeing this, uh, but let's let's see what we can do. I really I gotta get Jamar Chase involved. He's one of the best receivers in football. Um, I got it, got it. But we're gonna go underneath to Mixon, who has the catch and a nice little run for about 12 yards. Um, third and seven sets us up in a much better position here. Still, though, I'm just a little nervous about this. I don't know why. I just kind of got a bad feeling playing this game. I feel like I'm off right now, um, even though the team is very, very good. Jamar Chase on the sideline makes the snag down to the three-yard line, sets us up for a touchdown right here. Let's get it done quick, and then let's get the defense out there to get us the ball back. This has been a defensive battle so far. Teams are playing well. And I don't like this. We're going to... I'm spamming the throwaway button. I'm spamming it. <sighs> Brian Burns, great young defensive end in Carolina. I really do honestly like Carolina's roster. They're just missing some really key positions. But just a little thing there for Carolina fans if y'all happen to be watching. Um, but we got to figure out how to beat it here. We got to figure out how to get in the end zone. 
I need someone to break open. How is how is he running his route better than Jamar Chase? I think that's Henderson. Maybe he was like 10 yard or 10 steps in front of Jamar Chase there. That's ridiculous. I had Jamar Chase on that quick skinny post and Henderson was literally sitting there waiting at the end of the route and it was it was a beautiful throw. Incredible throw from Joe Burrow, kind of forcing it there, not gonna lie, Shaq Thompson had a shot at that if he'd really wanted it. Still, beautiful throw from Burrow, Tyler Boyd, nice catch, and we're gonna tie the game up 7-7. Defense needs to come out and get a stop. I just, I feel like we should have this easy. There's no shot, Sam Darnold throws all over this new secondary. Um, but, oh, no way? That wasn't even me usering most of that. Uh, yeah, great catch from DJ Moore there, but way better than it should have been. We can't even give up a field goal. I didn't even think about that. And Mike Hilton's going to give up a touchdown. You got to be kidding me. DJ Moore's a great receiver. Sam Darnold is not a great quarterback, and I don't know if he's missed a throw yet. This is really frustrating. I feel like our team is decent. <laughs> I feel like we've got a good secondary out there. Not looking like it right now, though. Uh, I guess Madden just isn't a big fan of these guys. I mean, that's 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 Mike Hilton, though. Mike Hilton's a high overall player. I don't know why Madden wouldn't be giving him a shot. That's an ugly throw. That's not even who I was throwing to. <laughs> All right, that's going to be the game. We lost. We just flat out lost. I don't know what to say about that one. That was kind of ugly all around. We did not play good football. But uh, that sucks because that's not how this team is going to look in real life. This team's going to be good in real life. Um, I really do believe that. I think they've got a shot to go back to the Super Bowl. I think they have a shot to win it. Even, yeah, the Sim doesn't even like us. It's random no-names picking off Burrow. That's really frustrating. Not how I wanted that to go. I think the Bengals are going to be in the running for it for years. I really do. Their, their team is so much better now across the board. As long as Joe Burrow continues to perform at the level that he has been, this team can be the real deal. Uh... I really think that. I really believe that. Let me know what y'all think. Cincinnati fans, drop a comment. Let me hear it. Uh, sorry for playing terrible with your team. I promise I wasn't trying to. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for clicking on the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, guys.